Okay, now I get a feeler gauge, and right there is about my go, no go. I'll keep going till I get one that will barely fit. And that's it right there. There's my thickness right here on the side. You can see where the line scribe. Now I'm going to take that thickness and measure it, and then I'm going to transfer it. right there and the measurement ended up being 0.186 186 thousandths from there to there now wait, that's on the exhaust side excuse me I hate Ford how they got that all messed up it's actually going to be <laughs> over here on the intake sorry about that we'll go over here One eighty six. Now I'll do the same thing on the exhaust, and I'll have the numbers there stock, and then I'll figure out how far I can go to the lines, and then have the finished print. This right here is going to be the modified one. This will be the one with the numbers ended up at it where it's finished. It'll show how much material I moved out, and this gives me a reference. So that when I'm cutting them, I know I can take a go, no, go gauge like a feeler gauge or a valve stem or a piece of a valve and go in there and equalize these chambers and get them all the same. So let's take one more measurement I'm going to let you see me do at the max lift and then we'll do the port beside of it. You can see the dramatic difference in it. Okay, now I'm going to lift the valve off the seat and take my valve stem and run it across. See it right there to the other side. Now that raises it almost 600 lift off of the seat. And now I can make that measurement right there. Which is going to be pretty close to the same. There isn't much difference on it right there. All right, there we go. Now, as we see what that measurement is, now as you can see, at 300 off the seat, I had to erase that a minute, okay? 300 off the seat right here is 343. Remember when we measured that? Now, on this one right here, 600, 550 to 600 off the seat, it's not much bigger at 366. 20, a little over 20 thousandths difference. So that turkey shrouded, look at the amount of lift. If I'm at 600 lift, of course, what I'd like to see is 600 thousandths space. And if that right there could be okay, just right off the edge, uh, really, uh, it, it depends on the contour shape of it. We wanted a better angle, not to dig in and go up, but that's acceptable right there somewhat. But this is the area right here when we get up in the lift and it's got to have room for the curtain. All right, now I'm going to show you the differences where I unshrouded it. You see the numbers and then that's it. Okay, now we measure it. Didn't gain much in that one area. Looks like 355. So I'm going to put 355 down right there. It's about, you know, what, 10 thousandths bigger at the 300 lift off the seat. Okay. Okay, there's the 355. Now, it ended up being 550 thousandths when it was near, uh, at, or excuse me, at 550 off the seat. It ended up being right at 600 thousandths right here. So it was a pretty good spread. Uh, not exactly on the money, but fairly close to however much I lifted off, the curtain is spreading that far. That's what I wanted to show you. Let me let me give you a look back now at the at the big end of it, so we can uh, you can see how that picture up there relates. You can see the 355 on the 300. Then at 550, I got 600. I hadn't wrote the 600 down yet. Let's go over here and verify it real quick. Okay, going from the valve, the edge where it's touching it, to right there where the last of the curvature is, where I've reshaped it. Okay, looks like it's going to be around, okay, 600 and, 
604 is what I'm going to call that. So when I go back up here, I write that measurement down on there and that tells me basically the spread that I've got as she comes up and like I said notice the valve stem stayed across instead of there that makes it rise up and brings it up and you can make this consistent because it's going in the same place on all the valves it's really you're really able to see the difference if I take a couple of new valves and put in here let me do this we can see our line right there how it just touches where I pulled it to this is a stock one right here and you can just see how much more of a contour it's open and laid back and man at the high mid to high lift air flows you can't believe the difference it would take a serious amount of porting inside the port to equal the amount of rollover that I'm laying in that combustion chamber to let that air exit now look over here at this side we come right over here and just look how it's closed up it ain't even 300 uh, thousands from the tip of this to the edge of this chamber and look there's our same line we go right over here now look at it see how that's pulled back so reshaping of the chamber being able to have some kind of template fixture or something to be able to do each one of them and they come the same as important but I can't stress enough the benefits and this turning this 1960 cylinder head into a current combustion chamber shape this has really been a hoot for me this is the kind of stuff I enjoy okay so I'm gonna finish this little bit of chamber up don't forget the material there I didn't mean to leave that out where I gauged it there and there I think I covered what it was here compared to there but it's uh, quite a bit of difference hold on okay this is where I modified it coming off the edge this is how many feeler gauges that I got to get it to go beside of it all right let's see what we got here for a thickness this came up with 270 thousandths right here now if we go to the other side this is the same 270. There's no way that's going to fit in. So I start taking feeler gauges until I can get it. Okay, right there I got it to pass. It looks like it might get one more. That's it. That's all it's going to fit in. Now that measurement right there. Is right at 218,000. It's okay. So 218 versus this one right here at near 280 270 something that might not sound like a lot but it is a world of difference look at the range right here of the closeness here then we come over here you can just see how much more air uh you know you're talking about 60 thousandths more room because I was able to peel that back to the combustion chamber line to let that 2.100 valve do its job. So when we relate that, we come up here to our airflow chart where I have my drawing and uh, you can see right there where I got it marked, that right there, okay, uh, 186 from the 200 and then we come over here this is the one I didn't finish when I measured it right here. That's right. That's 186 and over here it was 280 or, or 270. That's, excuse me, that's 90 thousandths difference. So we put that on there. Uh, 90 difference in it plus, so that'd be 270 versus the 186. So that's where I mark it, that's how you do it, and that's how you keep your consistency. All right, let's move on to the next part of the Ford head. I'm going to finish up the chambers, and then we're going to go to the insides of the ports. And I'm going to show you the rest of the mods that we do in there, which isn't a terrible amount, because it's already uh, uh, pretty thin to begin with. Um, all right, 